MJ of Fayum here and I am back today with a brand new episode of Terror the Great Legacy Torment. Now you'll be surprised to hear that this campaign had crashed and this is why I stopped playing the game and I am aiming to make a sort of you know what is the word uh, narrative style cinematic AARs. But I don't know how to do it with medieval too. So this will, so this is less in the format of, um, you know, I don't know how to say it, but it's more like, um, yeah, I, I don't know. But I, I'm trying to bring more narrative than just a standard. <coughs> I'm trying to bring a narrative that's more. It, it's basically shouldn't be like a, le a let's play okay so right now i have managed to expand the empire's borders don't mind me using the cheats for money uh you, you know i'm just using it like that to, because i don't want to be focused on the strategic stuff i want to focus more on the story stuff so let's get on with this so our Emperor died last time, so Imperator Gaius, his brother, took over the throne. And right now, let's just have a look at the at whole empire. As you can see, we already expanded from Constantinium, and we are waging war against the Orakai, basically the, the Dominion. And since this is a historical uh, fantasy no, uh, mod, you know, more or less, I am just expanding the borders and. Imperial Legatus Trajan Romulus is making his way to the feast. Send them to hell or worse. Yeah. And march. And march. And we are now going to that war with the Gurkish. I think it's a Gurkish Caliphate. I think it is war with the Gurkish Caliphate. So we'll be going to war with them. And meanwhile, our priests are spreading the words of of Son of Evictus, which I think is the god. And Brutus Aurelius marching into these rebel, rebel lands led by the Greco nobles which of course we will have destroyed while our diplomat is making uh, diplomatic moves across the factions that he encounters you know this would I really wish we had a historical fantasy world like this just basically set it in in um, in like an Elder Scroll online type of universe but with open world and RPG and that type of stuff so that would be fun. And apart from that, I am just rebuilding my armies and let's see what happens. Oh great, we got this, so that sucks. A new mission. We must take Colchis. I'll take Colchis, but I don't know where the armies... Where did they disappear? Where did they disappear? I know where they are, Dad. The Gurkhas. Uh, oh. The Gurkhish Caliphate, I think they just disappeared. Ah. We'll win against this. We shall ransom. So they were setting for ambush. Yes, we will win this. No, come on. No, 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 no. no. Nothing to salvage here. Escata, who do I, I protest. Command me. So where is Name thy enemy, Lord? Charge and Romulus died. No, come on. Wait, that's it. Command me. Away, God's sent. My lord. Well, this Imam of well, this uh Gurkish uh, you know uh priest is trying to spread. But the sun gods will win for some reason. Orders. March. Finding forces, my lord. Yes. Yes, let me start. That's it. My lord. We will go to war with the Gurkish again. And the Gurkish Empire have, have have in an act of compassion, mercy and honor have released 38 prisoners. You know what? I like the Gurkish. I don't want war with them, but if War must happen. I will make sure that it will happen. Oh, wait a minute. I'm fighting with... Is that Prince Emir? Oh no, he's the faction head. The faction head to the Gurkha Empire. 
Hey, well Wilden. We, the Romuli, will defeat you. We'll defeat you, alright? We will. Faction announcements. So we got a, uh, we got a new son, Le Lepidus, Jovinius. Yeah, we got a lot. We are the most. Oh, come on. We were the most advanced faction. But let's see what happens. Yes, Lord. Meanwhile, we are not going to. Yes. We could. Uh, we are building our armies across here. We are rebuilding. We are training. That's pretty much what we're doing at this point. We can afford to do a high tax rate, and we can do daily events. Your we are slowly building our army up, and soon we will go to the Dominion, where we will besiege the capital. While that is being done, ah. It seems the Orakai have Your orders, no So, we will engage them honorably, my lord. Without question, we shall begin the siege. Your orders, noble one. With God's blessing and yours, we Let march the army to battle. The siege over there. And is lord. there anything else? No, there wasn't. Right, we'll end the turn. The fight against Crown Amir Reis. We go to war. God will help the faithful prevail. We are dead. So are they sallying out then? Oh, oh they're sallying out. Let's get our forces and let's get them move up quickly. We will win. And we'll make sure that they won't be able to, you know. Now oh, they come. The Orakai are coming in. Let's get, to, let's get these Warangian guard and let's make them charge. Go on. Charge. they must face against when they fight against the legions of the Romuli. I pray the course of this battle changes because defeat seems almost certain. Defeat shouldn't be certain. Suffer such a defeat. I don't know if there's an option to zoom in. I don't know. There should be an option to zoom in, but the Orakai seem to be winning, which is not good. Otherwise, I'll have to send another army. Either that or we withdraw the entire army. The siege has been a failure for... Yeah, he's gonna have to withdraw. He wants to keep on fighting but his... His army, his bodyguard is telling him, they're just telling him he has to withdraw right now. Okay. 
The armor is too strong, the, the, the Orc High have won. Or we can give them a bloody nose as much as we can. Most of my men that are fighting here are doing really really good. I have to give them credit on that. He has really put up a fight against these orcs and these orc high guards and all these horrendous people. Well, do you want to call them horrendous or I don't know what you want to call them. Aha! Uh -huh. Seems of uh, even these Velites, who are mostly, you know, the lower rung of Romulite society, are putting up a real fight. I want to give them credit on that. Yes. They are really putting up a fight. And he has to withdraw. He has to withdraw. No! but the battle is lost either way I mean I can try and put as much as we can but it is lost in the oh look at it can you see can you see that fighting yeah at this point I'm majority I mean it makes no sense only half the enemy force remains. Only intervention by the Almighty Lord or a military genius can bring us victory from this disgrace. They need to withdraw. I will not let my army suffer so badly. I can over here. This is gone. My Lord, only half our force remains. This was this a terrible defeat. defeat. Is a bitter drink to swallow. Next time it will be our foe that sups from this most foul cup. Indeed, and I fully agree. We shall accept the ransom. We are beaten. Let God fill you with courage and regroup. Very well then. Breaking the siege. We shall continue at first light.
Okay. Seems the kingdom of the Northmen are strong. We shall deal with this. Name thy enemy, Lord. No, I cannot go there. The Gokish Empire is within our cross. Could get some Spartan hoplite, Esperos hoplites. I'll go for Spartan hoplites. You can never beat. You always want Spartan hoplites in your army. Seems we'll need to go one. back. Yes. We need to re retrain all the units. And we need to retrain all the units. We need to get an army from here. Of course, my lord. Your orders, number one. Let's recruit. Let's build up some units. Yep, we gotta build, we gotta recruit, and we gotta make sure that these orc high do not win. See how we're doing so far. Yep, we'll do this. Yes! I wonder if you can promote a general. I don't know if you can. Well, you did auto manage everything. Let's see what happens. Leaving the army, my lord. Splitting our forces. You see, the Gurkish uh, prince is very clever. I don't know where his army is, but he's he's hiding. I think there's an ambush somewhere. But General Aurelius Odysseus will go and visit. Ah, let us go and fight these guys. battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. Oh my. Oh, please wait. Oh, they come. They come, they come. Oh, right. let's just pause for one second. Now, Gorks have ambushed me. Right. They've, yeah, they come to ambush me. Right, let's get you guys over here quickly. Oh, and you... Well, you guys will get over here. Battle will start. Right, let's get all the troops in. Oh yes, the Gurkhs, the Gurkhs thought that they could win. We got a Romulai, the Romulai already. Practice guard can see Gurks. We shall win. We shall have a glorious and magnificent victory. Gurks are very clever. They're ambushing us all the time. With the Spartan Oplites. Can you see this? Just look at it. This is such a perfect. I love the look of the Spartan Oplites. Just look at them. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's make sure that they fight. Well, I don't know why you can't form a Testudo in this. I'd love to form a Testudo somewhere. Can you go against... Oh, That's the Emperor's... Oh, that's a general, but... Let's see if we can't fight against him. Ah, the girls have retreated. 
We're gonna fall in our flight, so we're going to attack. Yeah, you guys, you thought you could win, but look, they're losing. Oh, these are volley guns. I didn't... They, they look like, wow, I didn't even know they had these volley guns. Right, who are you? They have lost half their men. Go for the oh did you see that? Did you see the that? Enemy general flees like the coward he is. <laughs> Press oh. on and break the yes. spirit of his army. Bye bye, Gurks. Gurkish Empire being defeated for today, so go and destroy them by. Praise the Almighty! This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. We shall release them. They fought bravely. And I am impressed by their conduct. They fought very well. I have to give them credit on that. So. I shall release them. 